If you need a budget friendly fish finder, I'm about to tell you why the Garmin Striker 4 is the exact fish finder you've been looking for. My name is Wesley Littlefield with YourBassGuy.com and today it's all about the Garmin Striker 4. I bought this specific one with my own money and it's mine that I use personally so in no way is this sponsored by or anything by any company. This is my own personal opinions, unbiased, because I spent my dang old money. There will be affiliate links in the description below if by the end of this video you've decided that, hey, it is what I want, and we will get a small commission back from that, but that's at no extra cost to you. Otherwise, let's get into why I think this is the best budget-friendly fish finder. The first reason I think that this is a the best budget-friendly fish finder is because it's very inexpensive. You can go and pay less for lower quality fish finders, but they're lower quality. They're not going to be as accurate and they're not going to have the features that this specific one has. Now, granted that said, keep in mind that this is still budget-friendly, so it's not going to have all the awesome latest greatest features and we'll talk more about that here in a second but you can expect traditional sonar which is basically just your cone looking down below your transducer and it's going to show you arches or humps of what it thinks fish are and it will show you to a degree of you know there's a brush pile here or there's some kind of rock formation here or whatever but for the most part it's just gonna show you arches and you're gonna have to pick out, uh, I think this is a fish and not a tree or no, this is definitely a tree. And so it's not the best, but to learn on, I found it very comforting because it just wasn't overwhelming. It also has uh, GPS capabilities. Now you hear that and you think, oh great maps. It does not have maps. It literally has a white screen and it shows you as the boat and you can drop a waypoint and travel to that waypoint, but it's not going to show you a map of the lake. So yes, it has GPS capabilities, but it's really just for like marking a waypoint and heading to that waypoint. That's it. It's not going to give you lake depth. It's not going to give you anything like that. And there's no way to connect it to another fish finder to you know use the maps or whatever or transfer your uh, waypoints so it's a beginner model so you're not gonna get all those crazy features but it is nice to have like oh I caught a fish here drop a waypoint and then come back to it later it also has flasher mode which honestly I've never used I've always heard that that's what ice fishermen love to use and here in Oklahoma we don't have a lot of ice so I've never used it I mean, I've clicked on it and played with it, but I can't tell you it's great, it's bad. I, I, that's not this video, but it is there. I know they sell a portable version for ice anglers that um, you know comes in like a little bag and a transducer, and that might be an option you wanna look at if you're an ice fisherman and a kayak fisherman or a small boat fisherman. You can split screen as well. So you can run the flasher and traditional sonar or traditional sonar and the mapping, uh, air quotes around mapping because it's not really a map, but you understand what I'm saying. So you can run both of them at the same time. That's really great, except the screen is tiny. So you're looking at, I mean, just little bitty slivers of it. And I would rather just run a full screen of one unless you just absolutely have to. Let's move on to some of the cons. Number one, I've already kind of mentioned, the screen is very small. Uh, you know, it's it's not going to be one that you want to put on a bass boat and, you know, you're setting it at the front of the boat and fishing with it. This is more for, like, kayaks, canoes, and small john boats. I have used this in my kayak, and that's the reason I got it. And I absolutely loved it in my kayak, and I still like it in my kayak. But it also doesn't have these awesome features that so many newer models have. And that's another con because there's no way to upgrade it from like and get live scope with it or 
there's no way to add on mapping or anything like that so you're stuck with what comes out of the box now for beginners that's great because you don't have to worry about learning all these new features but as you begin to progress and learn a little bit more it can be a downfall i found for a small boat there's a lot of transducer cable and it's not a big deal if you've got a, a bigger boat to put it in but for a kayak or something i wish they would shorten that transducer cable up a little bit so i didn't have to deal with so much cord it, it was an easy fix yes of just zip tying it together but there's it's still there and i would like to see a little bit shorter the final con is that it's not touchscreen, which it's a con because we're used to touch screens now but this little tiny screen it would be really difficult to operate if it was a touch screen so the keypads are nice they work great and i've never had any problems with them they're really nice especially if your hands get cold or your hands are wet and you know you don't gotta worry about the touch screen not working but it's no touch screen and we're so used to touch screens that we almost expect it at this price point though you can't blame them as i tested this out i found that it really works best in small boats like i said i wouldn't go any bigger than like a 12 foot john boat that's as big of a boat as i would want this in because you get too far from the screen and it's just too small now if you're just learning how to run fish finders and learning how to read sonar this is another great option for beginners because number one it's super budget friendly at under like a hundred under 150 dollars you you just can't beat it and it's got better features that you can actually learn and then apply to other more expensive fish finders and work your way up from it and you're still not breaking the bank initially so beginner friendly absolutely if you guys found this review helpful leave us a comment down below what you want to see next and as always remember that education is important but fishing is essential <laughs>